The 2024 Polestar 2. Now this is my kind of update. Not a whole lot different on first sight, but under the floor, the change is tectonic. So let's see if the earth moves for us. Welcome to the garage. Subscribe to see the first drives of New Zealand's newest and best cars driven on New Zealand roads in New Zealand conditions. <laughs> I want to start with a disclaimer. I am a Polestar owner, or at least Mrs. S is. So I have 18 months knowledge of all the ups and downs of living with a Polestar 2. So while this is the first drive of the model year 24 Polestar 2, this review has been two years in the making. Visually, the new face is the closest thing to a facelift. The Polestar 3 style nose hides the sensors, radars, and of course the camera. It's a key change for this car because until now the Polestar 2 has sort of been the unelectric looking electric car. Well, not anymore. Otherwise it remains the same handsome block of Scandinavian styling. It's taller than a sedan but not quite as high as a crossover. And while it looks like a sedan, it's actually a liftback. Well, we're on that. 405 litres of storage or 1905 litres with the back seats down. Actually, make that 1,945 litres because there's another 40 litres hidden under the floor. Great place to hide Christmas presents, by the way. Well, let's stay on the subject of space. The Polestar 2 is a five-seater. Our legroom's fine in the back. That seat's back where I have it for the front seat. But at a metre 83, it's starting to get a little bit snug. I reckon if you're a metre 90, you might be touching the roof there. Now this is the long range single motor, $94,000 worth, and it is well equipped. But I'd recommend opting for the $6,000 plus pack. It includes the fully glass roof, which is awesome. The upgraded Harman Kardon audio, air quality sensors, and the digital key. Which includes the ability to turn on the climate control by remote, a brilliant touch in the summer heat. Now the Polestar 2 has been praised for the quality of the materials inside. Nothing looks or feels budget. It is solid, but also free from bling. You know, that understatement was one of the things that won me over uh, with the Polestar 2, but I'm not going to say I was completely besotted. There's a couple of things that stop it from being perfect. To start with, the centre console is about an inch too wide, not enough knee room for six footers and plus, and the cup holder. There's one there. To get the second one, you've got to lift the armrest, and it's down in here. It ruins the aesthetic of what is a beautiful interior, and also I hate putting my elbow in my passenger's coffee. Otherwise, I love it as much as I did back in 2021. The Google Android Automotive Operating System won me over back then, even as a dyed-in-the-wall iOS user. And even with CarPlay available now, Google still beats Siri in the Polestar 2. Anyway, that's enough tech. We're behind the wheel now. And the truth is, if you want to see more of the Polestar 2 tech, you can watch our original drive. In fact, click on the screen right now. And I do apologize because it was filmed in November. Make that Movember my one and only attempt. I will not do it again. But you can learn about the tech because right now we want to learn about the new drivetrain. We're actually using the exact same roads for this drive, sort of a, a back to the future thing. But the fact is, there's no deja vu because the Polestar 2 has been transformed. I really mean transformed. I mentioned it right at the start, the shift to rear wheel drive. When we first drove the Polestar 2 on these roads, front wheel drive, and it impressed. On these windy roads, rear wheel drive, it really feels like a whole new car. Even better, the power of this long range version has gone from 170 to 220 kilowatts. That's almost 300 brake horsepower. This is the drivetrain the Polestar 2 should have had from the start. Man, oh man, it's just so much poise. The steering just feels completely different. I've said it before, it's like a whole new car. But it's not just about poise and power. The battery has also been upgraded to 82 kilowatt hours. Straight away, that means range has improved. The shift to rear wheel drive and some tech has also helped. Range is now 22% better. 
That means this long range single motor has an official WLTP range, oh, wait for it, 655 kilometers. Now we all know that WLTP figures can be optimistic, but what they do offer is a genuine comparison between cars, and in this case, 655 Ks makes this a class leader. And for some rear wheel proof, click here to watch Ecotricity's drive on New Zealand roads. And it's not just the size of the battery charging is now faster, up to 205 kilowatts, which means 10 to 80% charge takes just 28 minutes. And that battery comes with an eight year, 160,000 kilometer warranty. So if the battery goes below 70% effectiveness, you get a new one. And any of the 27 cells can also be replaced individually. You know, heading out here to the White Tuckeries, driving through the city, the only thing I really noticed was slightly less aggressive braking from the one pedal drive. But once you're out here, the combination of the new drivetrain and of course, 220 kilowatts, man oh man. So in a game of EV top trumps, the new Polestar 2 would have a few stats in its favor, but not everything. To start with, this one has one more motor and quite a bit more power. Okay, this is the performance, which includes the golden Brembo brakes, those gold seat belts, and fully adjustable Olin's dampers, which for 24 have been given a softer, soft setting, which is ideal for these bumpy New Zealand back roads. You can still firm things up if you wanted to take this thing on a track, and I have been in one of these on a track, and they absolutely move. Um, speaking of moving, the drivetrain now has a rear bias for 2024. And on a straight ahead cruise, that front axle will coast to improve range, which in the performance is now 568 kilometers, while the 310 kilowatt dual motor delivers 593 kilometers. And there's also an option of heated and cooled Napa leather seats on this $120,000 performance version. Up for the dual motor, that's 110,000. Now, every Polestar comes with an impressive array of safety features as standard. That includes blind spot and rear cross-traffic detection alerts, and the tow rating across the range, 1,500 kilos. Oh, and there's one addition in the performance, launch control. It's a great party trick. It's a heck of a party trick, uh, but it's really about the only party trick. Polestar just doesn't do that. Aside from Google, if you want to make the kids giggle, you can ask it what a fart sounds like. However tempting, I'm not going to demonstrate that right now. Polestar remains resolutely unshouty about their cars. They're free of gimmicks, so they're not really a typical automaker in that way. They're the quiet, stylish achiever. So whether you go for the range topper or well, the range topper, Polestar 2 still delivers all those things we talked about. In fact, when we stood in this very spot just over two years ago, there's the build quality, the style, the practicality. But now for 2024, a couple of other key things, and mainly in this two-wheel drive model. You've got the class-leading range, 655 Ks, and the other magic thing, rear-wheel drive, a whole new level of dynamics.